What's going on guys? In today's video, we have a very, very fun challenge. I thought this would be a fun video to film. I was looking on YouTube and I haven't seen anyone else do it to my knowledge. So in today's video, it's gonna be like a vlog style video. I'm gonna be walking you through the entire day and we're gonna be trying to close a real estate agent, a real estate team, whoever we're speaking with in under 12 hours. So we're going to this day with high hopes. We're taking some sales calls. I, I picked this day specifically because I have four calls. I know these individuals are gonna show up. I've searched them. They're good quality, you know, people that I'm going to be speaking with just by doing my due diligence. So I'm excited to see how today's go. I'm really going to be pushing for the close. Let's see what we can make happen. And let's get in this video. We're going to be starting bright and early in the morning and uh, I'll see you there. What's going on boys? It's eight in the morning. It's Thursday, October 5th, I believe. We are doing the close a client in under 12 hours, well in 12 hours. So I chose today precisely because I know I have four discovery calls and I know for a fact all four of them are gonna show up and they're all decent realtors. So we're gonna be pushing real hard for the close today. My very first call is at one and I think my last call ends at like 5.30ish. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along throughout the entire day and you guys know how the calls go, kind of show some clips if they're good or not. But uh, as of right now, it's eight in the morning. I'm just chilling uh, here in the office and I have a team call at 8.30, then I'll get into some deep work, and then the discovery calls will start at 1, so we'll keep you guys updated. It is now 11.17. I just finished my morning work, so I got off our team meeting at around 8.45, then went into doing some outreach, booking some meetings, answering some emails, checking the socials, answering DMs, stuff like that, and then I'll usually dive into about two hours of deep work, just fulfilling tasks that I have to do, um, working on client accounts, and, and doing the stuff that I have, the, the bigger clients that I manage. So now it is, like I said, yeah, 11.30. Basically, I'm going to go eat, shower, and get ready for the meetings to start at one o'clock. So I have four, hopefully, I have four calls, people that show up, starts at one, and will end around five-ish after I have the four calls, uh, if they all do show up. So we're gonna be trying to push for the close, uh, really stressing that, you know, we're looking to work with one individual. Uh, we're just waiting to hear back from someone. That's kind of the game plan I have going into this. Obviously, if they hit me with certain rebuttals, I'm gonna try and respond as best I can to try and really push and, and answer, you know, try and evade any fears that they have. So yeah, this is going to be fun. I'll keep you guys updated right before I jump on the first call and then update you guys after the call, kind of throw some clips in if they're good. And we'll, I guess, see what happens. We'll hope for the best. It's happened a couple times where people will, I'll close them right in the call or like right after they'll be like, yeah, you know what, just sign me up. So hopefully we can have one of those days, but yeah, I'll see you guys right before the very first call. It is 1.45. I just got off the first sales call of the day for this closing a client in 12 hour challenge. It went pretty good. I already spoke with this individual once. It was a second call, so it might have a little, been a little bit of cheating, but either way, I tried to, to push for the close. It didn't work. She wanted to take some time to think about it over the weekend and whatnot, so I'm going to be following up with her next week to see where she's at, and uh, we're going to have to go from there. So, so far, I know for a fact she's not going to get back to me today and say, yeah, I'm interested. You know what? Let's just let's sign up. Um, so, oh for 1 from this challenge perspective, but it was a good call. I'm looking forward to hearing from her next week. So our next call is at two. It's with an individual named Laddie. We're going to be jumping on the call with him and hopefully we can close him in the call or convince him to, you know, hopefully take some time to think about it and sign up sometime today. I'm going to go uh, change out of this shirt and put another shirt on because I'm very, very hot right now. So I'm going to go change, jump on this call at two and I'll chat with you guys after the call and let you know how it goes. Hopefully it shows up and hopefully it all goes well. So I just got off my second discovery call of the day with Marcus. It went well. It was a good call, but for this specific challenge, it didn't go well. Uh, he said he's gonna just take some time to chat over, over it with his wife and he'll get back to me sometime next week, probably on Tuesday, he said, because Monday is Thanksgiving here in Canada. It's a holiday. So overall, it was a good call. Yes, I'm excited to follow up with him and kind of see where he was at. I, I hit him with certain rebuttals to try and say, you know, hey, what's stopping you from starting now? And then you want to chat with his wife and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna be too pushy about it, but I'm looking forward to following 
following up with him on Tuesday. But like I said, for this specific challenge, not exactly the answer we're looking for. I'm being a little bit more pushy than usual on calls, trying to feel people out. And if I even have the chance to potentially just sign them today in under 12 hours. So it was a good call. But now we have two more calls left, one with Laddie, one with Francesca, like I showed you guys. So we'll see how these go. And if we can make something happen, um, this next call here is in uh, a couple more minutes, 15 minutes roughly. So we're going to join join into this call and see if we can make something happen. I'll chat with you guys after the call. Let's go boys. I just got off the call with Laddie. It's uh, 2.52. It was a very, very long call. He was very interested and I was pushing for the fact that we were only looking to work with one individual, keep them exclusive to our strategy, what is it that we do in his specific area. So I think he's really, really interested. I'm hoping he's going to be get back to me today. I was really pushing for the fact that, hey, listen, we're only taking X amount of calls this week. The first person to get back to us is the individual we're going to be working with and keeping exclusive to this area. So someone could get back to me at any point in time. If you are genuinely interested and you want to lock this in, I'll give you some time to chat with your wife. That was his old thing. You want to chat with his wife and, you know, get back to me today via email. I sent him over a massive email with our, all of our socials, some commercial examples uh, and packages and stuff like that. We'll, we'll pull up that email on the screen. I'll send the editor a screenshot of that. So we'll pull that up. And then, yeah, I'll let you guys know if he gets back to me today. Technically, we started this challenge at, I think, like, eight. I, I started this morning. So technically we got till eight o'clock to hopefully he gets back. I send the contract. He signs it. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, we have one more call coming up. So we'll see how, how this one goes and I'll keep you guys updated right after this call. Boys, it is around six o'clock and you'll never guess what happened. This guy called me and he just had some more questions that he had. He wanted to clarify a couple of things. So he was asking me some more questions regarding like ex exclusivity, um, like the, the next steps, the onboarding process and stuff like like that so he is most definitely gonna sign I think for sure it's just a matter of whether he's gonna get back to me today so I was like yeah you know what if you're interested you might as well just lock this in today uh, you know chat with your wife she was on the phone as well and they were trying to search my socials and stuff like that and then literally five minutes after that I received this email so I'm gonna pull up the screenshots of this the emails that we were going back and forth this is the original email that I sent to him and this is what he replied back with but uh, I'm gonna read this stuff out loud as well I'm just gonna go on my laptop here so my original email that I sent to him was, uh, hey, hope all is well as per our conversation on the phone because I, I just chatted with them and then I sent them this email. Um, I attached the links to all of our socials and some commercial videos like the examples I showed you. We also have a promotion going for the gold package on top of all the other perks like meeting in person, commercial filming, total market exclusivity, etc. We will cover your first month of advertising spend. So this is me trying to just push this guy to sign up, give him some more incentives, provide a promotion. Usually I wouldn't do that, but I'm honestly strictly doing this for this challenge. That's how dedicated I am. So uh, looking forward to hearing from you. I attached all of our socials. Uh, attached to more commercials that we shot. So we'll pull up that original email so you guys can pause it and read it for yourself. <music> Then he called me a little bit later. Like I just said, I had a conversation with him. He asked some more questions and then he sent me this email. Hi Carter, hope all is well. Yes, Monday that time works great because I pitched him on a kickoff meeting. So yeah, this I, I missed this email too. I said, hope all is well with you. Just want to check in and see if you received my prior email. Would Monday at five o'clock PF EST work for you for a kickoff meeting? I'll send over the contract and the onboarding form today. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to switch to the gold and get market exclusivity and some professionally done commercials. Looking forward to working with you. So now I'm just pushing the gold package. And he replied with, hi Carter, hope all is well. Yes, Monday at that time works great. If this was January, I would sign up for the gold package. We have some pretty significant commitments between now and December as we have a charity that will operate, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it takes quite a bit of time during the month of October, November, and first part of December, aside from the regular business of the season. So he's gonna go with the silver program, but intend to move up to the gold after the six months, if all is well. So I said, awesome, laddie. No worries whatsoever. Looking forward to chatting with you and I'll send over the contract and onboarding form today. So I don't think he's going to sign and fill the onboarding form and send everything back to me within like an hour and a half to complete the signing a client in under 12 hour challenge. But I'll keep you guys updated. And if he doesn't, I don't know if I consider this a win because technically he didn't sign the contract yet, but like he's going to and we have a kickoff meeting booked for Monday. So I mean, we kind of like halfway did it in a sense. Uh, I'll keep you guys I'll put a clip at the end if he does somehow send it back to me within an hour and a half. And I'll just let you guys know that we actually fully completed it. But if not, I think we kind of halfway completed the challenge. He's basically signed up. He didn't sign the contract yet but we got a kickoff meeting booked in. He's serious. We went back and forth on email, had another phone call. So uh, yeah, guys, it's a challenging day. I was pushing a lot harder on the sales calls, offering random promotions and stuff like that. So if you liked a video like this, doing a random challenge, uh, I literally just thought this would be fun. Comment down below. The support means a lot. Subscribe, guys. That also helps motivate me and I like, you know, helping as many people as we can. Click that like button and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.